In this video, we are going to install the Resident Evil 4 HD texture pack for the PC SX2 emulator. This was ported by the Roku from the PC version, and you can use this pack in the USA or PAL version of the game. The textures have a maximum of 2048 by 2048, and the pack has a total of 7.64 GB size on disk. And this is only a texture pack, does not include the game, so we need to have your own copy of the game. We're going to download the Resident Evil 4 HD textures from the GB8 M forums, and the textures were created or ported from the PC version to PC SX2 by the Roco. And this is for, or this works in the PAL version and the USA version of the game. And from here, you can scroll down to the download link and then download the textures. And I will leave this link in the description of the video, but I always recommend checking the original post in case of new updates. Then go to where you have downloaded the texture pack and now we need to extract the textures. And using 7-zip with Windows 11, you can Alt-Shift, right-click on top of it, go to 7-zip, and then Extract here. Or you can right-click on top of it, go to Show More Options, 7-zip, and then Extract here. Now open PCSX2 or run PCSX2, go to Tools, open Data Directory, Go inside of the textures folder, then move this folder that we extracted to here. And the textures are now installed for the PAL version of the game. And if you want to use this in the USA version of the game, you can then copy your ID from the PCSX2 game lists, right click on top of the game, go to properties, and then here in the serial, select it and then copy and paste it here in the name of the folder and change it to the USA version of the game. And now we have the textures installed for the USA version of the game. Next, go back to PCSX2, right click again on top of the game and go to properties and we are going to change the settings only for this game. Go to graphics and then here in the tabs, go to the rendering tab and disable MIP mapping. If you see a gray square, this means that it's using the general settings. Then a tick means that it's turned on and then an empty square means that it's turned off. And this is what we want, turn it off. Then here in the internal resolution, change it to maybe 720. If you use the native uh, PS2 default, you won't really see any differences between the original taxers or the HD taxers. If you have a good graphics card, you can use uh, 4K or more. I usually use 4K. Then go to the texture replacement tab, turn on load taxers, and that's it. Now, if you run the game, the HD taxers should be working correctly. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel, you can subscribe to my Patreon where I post exclusive uncut versions of my videos and give early access before they go on YouTube. And thank you to everyone who decides to join. You can join my Discord if you need additional help with the video tutorials that I make. I can also try to help you with anything related to emulation or emulators in general. And also post emulation news updates or updates related to the video tutorials that I make.
Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Un buen espero! 